Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomai's and today I've got a Porsche GT3 RS behind me. This car was originally purple, if you look here. We wrapped it in satin black. However, I'm gonna take it out for a drive and see what it's really like. I've asked the customer, he said it's cool. Let's have some fun. So time to head out. First thing I'm gonna do is put my seatbelt on. Uh, you guys, Gave me loads of stick for not wearing my seatbelt previously and I saw a recent video with Paul Wallace and Carl Hartley and you guys went in because Carl wasn't wearing his seatbelt but Paul was. So what do we have here? We have a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Originally in like the ultraviolet purple. I'm sure that's like a limited edition colour. And now it is in satin black like stealth mode. Uh, Batman looking. It's a fantastic colour. Uh, let me know whether you think the purple or the satin black works better. For me, I'm all about the stealth satin black. Fantastic. This is like a, a track car. Amazing. So this car does 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. It's got a double clutch. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a race car though, to be fair. So, driving this car, quite bumpy, but it is a race car. I'm a big fan of Porsche. Um, I've actually had a Porsche Turbo S in the past. So tempted to get one of these. What's the problem? I don't think they're wow enough. Everyday driving, fantastic. They look amazing. Just hasn't quite got that wow factor of a Ferrari or Lamborghini. Um, this has got a massive, massive spec. Uh, this is owned by General Kieran. He's got an Aventador. He's, he's, got, uh, he's got quite a few toys actually. I'll show you his, um, his son's Instagram if you have a look here, so you get an idea. Yellow seat belts. It's just, it's just got everything inside. If you look in front, you've got Hass filming on the back of my Urban Range Rover. I'm trying to give you as much footage as possible with this car down the roads at least it's nice and dry especially Porsche in general, is that you can use them in an everyday car. Um, they're comfortable, they're not over the top, so you're not too worried about parking them anywhere. And you can take them straight to a track. You can drive these every day, do your shopping, whatever, and then you can just go straight to a track, <laughs> take off the traction control, and off you go. So um, it's two cars in one, Ferraris and Lambos, you can't really do that as much. Um, Honest, the Fries and Lambos are not real hardcore track cars. This is a hardcore track car, and you can have so much fun in this GT3 RS. Big fan. Quick tunnel run. Obviously, you've got a house filming on the other side. It's always good to get that sound. I don't know how well that comes out on this or what Hass was filming. I'm really enjoying driving this. 
the things that people really go on about this car is the handling. So something that's massive on this car, that's, that's real key, is the spoiler on the back. That pushes about, I think, 180 downforce of kg. Um, a lot of people always say, why well, you got big spoilers on the car, etc." That is one of the reasons. On this sort of car, you definitely need it. For the speed, when you're, hand when you're braking, when you're accelerating, that makes such a difference on the back. The suspension on this, it's a real hard, rigid drive especially for the track um, we've got massive tires on the rear sits very very low a lot of people don't like big spoilers on the car this car needs it yeah it looks stupid when you put it on like a Merc uh, but on something like this it's definitely needed so this car what is it it's a four litre flat six 500 brake horsepower naturally aspirated which means you can actually rev it all the way up to 9000 so you get that like the real race car feel obviously a daily as well you can drive this every day no problem but when you want to give it some it goes tunnel The M25 is a car park. Thank God we're coming off. Obviously something's happened, got all the lorries. But we're coming off at the Enfield Junction and we're going back home. So a lot of people always say a real driver's car is manual. I'm a big fan of the automatic, the PDK gearbox. The gear change is instant. Doesn't matter how good a driver you are, when you're moving it from first to second or second to third and trying to put it into gear, that takes split second. This is instant gear change, so it's just, it's just rapid. Um, so for me, I'll go automatic PDK all day long over a manual drive. You might not have as much fun and holding it in the corners when you're taking the bends, but you can have both hands on the steering wheel and you can really play with it on the track. You've got two ways of changing gears. So you can leave it straight and automatic, or you can go up and down on here and you can do it on the paddle. So what I'll do is I'll show it to you on the actual gear stick. black leather, you've got Alcantara through the centre of the seats, the steering wheel and part of the centre like the gear stick um, as well as the yellow stitching which obviously complements the seats and goes with the seat belts. Um, a lot of cars you can see them with the yellow or the red, this has got the yellow, works lovely with the actual original purple colour of the car uh, but works even better now with the satin black. So how much do these cost? This car, if you go to a dealer you're probably paying 130, 140. What's the problem? I'm trying to get one. Weightless is ridiculous, they're limited, um, and now with premiums, etc., and because they're so so popular, you're probably gonna pay around 200,000 to get one of these now, um, and that's if you're lucky enough to find one. 200 grand, still a lot of car, but 130 grand, wow, it's a steal. So let's have a little walk around the car. So, obviously, firstly, what stands out is this massive spoiler. No, it's not a Ricer. This car is a GT3 RS. It needs this spoiler. I spoke about it um, inside the car as well, why it's needed. You've got a fantastic plate on this car, by the way. Look at this basic. You might have seen this on a few other cars, but it's now on this. Obviously, we know it's wrapped in satin black. But if you look at the vehicle, the way it is, it sits a lot fatter, a lot wider. You've got like the rear diffuser. The whole idea of this is to make the car go faster, to work better on the track. So if we walk around, even down to something as silly as the roof. You see the roof's got slight little indentation. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera. That is all for aerodynamics. It runs from the roof um, to the bonnet back and forth. Even down to the wheels. The wheels are 21s on the back, 20s on the front. They're massive. Um, to me, they look like a turbine wheel, very similar to the SLR back in the day. Even the wings, look at the wings. They've got massive bits inside their carbon. Obviously to keep the light, to keep the weight really, really light on this vehicle. Um, and obviously again, aerodynamics two wings and obviously the front bumper. This is obviously from back in the day, the GT2 that I used to love, obviously GT3 RS now. Even down to the massive front bumper with the big scoops to let all the air in, to keep the car cool while you're racing around on that track. I'm gonna open the bonnet for you so you can actually see the carbon. As you can see there. This actually weighs nothing, it's so, so light. So obviously that's carbon, the wings are carbon. 
factory carbon, you've got to love it. So a quick look on the inside of the car, again it's got carbon everywhere, it's a carbon behind the seat, carbon on the door cards, carbon on the dashboard, um, it's got the roll cage in the back, Hass will obviously get all these shots individual, leather and Alcantara with the yellow stitching, including the Alcantara steering wheel. It's a fantastic looking interior, it really really works well with the satin black, it did work with the purple as well but for me, the satin black with the black and the yellow and the stitch and the carbon fibre and the leather and the Alcantara, perfect combo. So that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, it was a real quick review, you know guys I don't do this full time, obviously we wrap cars here, however I wanted to show you this vehicle, Porsche GT3 RS, fantastic car, I personally love it, let me know what you think, comment down below, but for myself, I'll see you soon.